Hi all. Um, we're just going to go through some of the important sort of key features on a standard OS map today. Okay, things you're going to come across on Duke of Edinburgh expeditions, etc., and useful landmarks which can um, <clears throat> help you read your map a lot easier. Okay, and some of the main features. Um, one of the first things to do now, all these will obviously be um, available on a map legend, which is um, uh, a key to all, all the things that are on the map, but it's quite nice to have a little look at the video and point out some of these things. So one of the most important things is what um, you're going to be walking along a lot of the time, if you're out and about walking, is a lot of these green dotted lines here. Okay, so you have all of these green dotted lines dotted around over the place. More so in some areas than others. Some areas have a lot more and some areas have a lot less, but these are public footpaths, okay? So these are all areas that you're allowed to um, have permission to walk on, so they could cut across farmer's fields, um, through public areas like public parks and graveyards and cemeteries and places like that. They can cross over all different places, So, but they're, they're rights of way that people have got to walk along, okay? Some are... Um, some are more accessible and more used than others, so that depends on your locality. Okay, so you've got the small green dotted lines are, are public footpaths. They're for foot traffic only, so pedestrians only, okay? So um, if, you're, if you're on foot. Um, then what we do is we go to uh, slightly longer green, green dashes, okay? So similar to like what we've got here and along here. Okay, now these are bridleways. Once you get to that side, these are bridleways. So bridleways, um, you've got the same rights as a pedestrian as well, but also um, they're also open to horses as well. So if you're along bridleway, a lot of the time you'll see uh, you'll see horse hooves uh, marks in the ground. You might even see horses, but that's bridleways which are allowed for um, horses and cyclists too as well. Okay. Um, so then moving up onto the next one, we have byways, okay? So what we have is we have more um, more of this cross on them, okay? So byways have, have, have a sort of a green cross on them, like they've got down here. Now a byway is open to traffic, so motorised vehicles as well. Um, but it's often not as big as a road. It might be more of a track, um, yeah, more of an old sort of look like a farm track type of thing. Um, these are byways, okay, but they still have access, uh, still public access to cars, okay, so cars can come along them. So if you're walking along byways um, while you're out on an expedition or something, be be mindful that they are open to traffic. Uh, you get a lot of farm vehicles using them as well and off-road um, off road vehicles. So you, you've still got to be mindful of them. Um, um, vehicles when you're on byways okay so that's covering most of them so you've got the fin uh the smaller green dotted lines of public footpaths slightly longer uh green dashes are going onto bridleways and then you've got byways which are the sort of uh, dashes with a cross in okay as i say these are all visible on your legends okay the map keys uh then we've also got roads okay so now on roads what you've got is you see these yellow yellow ones orange ones and red ones okay um, now on this part of the map you can't see any blue ones but if you see a blue like a thick blue line similar to this maybe a bit thicker but in blue that's going to be a motorway okay so that'd be things uh, m11s m25s all, all the motorways across the country will be will be blues okay when you get on this reddish color uh, these are a roads so these are still very busy roads okay a roads are very busy roads um so you've got to be very careful you don't want to be walking on any of these unless they've got pavement along them okay so you want to try and avoid any of these um roads um then you've got the orange ones which you know as you as you drop down in color now from the red um it's kind of a, a it denotes how wide these roads are um so if you look on your legends it will tell you how wide these roads are so by a little bit of a rule of thumb is obviously the more narrow the road gets the less busy it is but that doesn't necessarily mean it's safer okay you might not have no it might be a, a narrow road which not a lot of people use but there might be there might not be no pavement there might not be nowhere to step out of the way vehicles come etc so all roads are dangerous let's keep it as that but 
obviously as they go down orange is a little bit less busy than an a road which is red and then we get onto the yellow yellow roads which are narrower than the orange roads so majority of the time they're quite quiet but as you know as time goes on um, more houses get built around areas it can get busier and busier on them and then roads still okay so it's still being mindful of those um, anything on road you've got to be mindful okay and try and limit them as much as possible when you're out walking try and use your footpaths and byways as much as possible and just use roads as a link up okay uh, talking about buildings so buildings on maps so this area here uh, we're on Kelvedon Hatch which is quite near our woodland these areas that look like this all these little squares on uh, these are like buildings like houses schools factories etc okay so you know if you're in if you can see that on a map you know that's a built-up area okay so that's a town effectively um, as you get out into farmland and stuff like you might do here you've got sort of more individual buildings you see and you've got sort of cow farms so these could be barns or outbuildings you know or maybe just a few houses but they're really good as you're navigating your way around in sort of if you know you're coming up to this cow's farm here um, you can look and you can identify these buildings from wherever you're walking okay so you can use them as a good reference point on your map okay so the next one is um, a lot of these little green areas here that you'll see here and here it's like dotted around all over uh, these are woodlands so these are really important when you're out navigating as well often if you're walking around in open open country land uh, farmland then you can often see woodlands on the horizons and they're a really good way of um, guiding yourself along once you know um, you're walking along a path you'll be able to see these woodlands etc so they're very important um, key key feature on the map uh, another little one is so these little blue areas here all these here so these are all lakes and ponds these sort of different shaped ones here so these are bodies of water, yeah, so they're very important. Also in connection with that water, we're going to get these, these blue lines here, which are thinner lines going along. Now these are going to be little rivers, streams, ditches, etc. Okay, um, so these are very good. Rivers don't really move around much over time. Um, so if a river's there, a river's normally there, okay, it doesn't really change, so um, they're a very good navigation tool, so them little blue things and lakes and ponds as well around here, okay, uh, another good good thing and another good feature here is we have like man-made places, okay, so like this here, this is like a little pint glass emblem, so this represents a pub, um, we've got this flag down here, which is a golf course, it says Bentley Golf Course, you've got that little golfer's flag there, uh, then here we've got a campsite, so we've got a little caravan and a, a tent, so that represents a campsite. And also we've got uh, down here, it's not in blue, but he, as you can see there's a little circle with a cross on top and that's a church. Okay, so now in England, uh, churches are everywhere, okay, they're a really, really good navigational tool. They're often very close or if not on a lot of the footpaths naturally because people used to travel back and forth from the churches. Um, so they are very good. They're obviously a, a lot of time they're on high ground with steeples, so you can see them from far away. So churches are a very good navigational tool. They're also a good place to have as a checkpoint or as a break as well, because there's often benches and stuff around there as well where you can sit and have some lunch. Um, and it's good places to have as a checkpoint because it's a definite area where you know you'll be. Okay, so the last sort of key feature we're going to just touch on, which is really important with navigating out in farmland areas and places like that. Uh, is that if you look over your map you'll see these little thin black lines all over the place yeah there's lots of them all dotted around uh, these are boundary lines okay so a lot of the time some of the time they can be fences but majority of the time when you're out in farmland these are going to be hedgerows okay so as you're walking along in a field and you see hedgerows on the edge of uh, fields and stuff these are going to be denoted by these black lines now these are really important because for example, if you was walking along this footpath here, going over to this road, as you walked up the footpath, it intersects with one of these black lines. So this footpath is going to pass through a hedgerow, okay? So it's a really good way of navigating. You know you've left these lakes here, which you will know, and then you'll walk up on this footpath and you'll think, right, next we've got to walk through a hedgerow. So as you walk along, you'd walk through that hedgerow. 
once you get there you definitely know you're in that area then if you was heading onto the road for example you go right we've passed through the hedgerow we're going onto the road but these are obviously all over the place around England when you're out in countryside. So really, really important. So that's all these thin little black lines and boundary lines. OK, so hopefully you found this little overview of um, um, a lot of the stuff that goes on on an OS map helpful. It should really help you out on Duke of Edinburgh expeditions, etc. Or if you're planning local walks, um, if you found this video good and, and you enjoyed it and you want to find out some more please please subscribe to our channel or give it a like and um, we'll do some more videos for you thanks <laughs>